Mavericks fans, we are literally 12 subscribers away from 15,000 here on the channel. Shout out to all of you MFFLs. But if you haven't subbed already, this is the time. The boss has told me, hey, 15K is cool, but if we don't get there by midnight, this could be the last video in the history of this channel. I don't want that to happen because I want to keep you guys up to date with the latest Dallas Mavericks news and rumors throughout the season now that basketball is basically back. Media Day took place today. Training camp starts tomorrow. It's going to be fun. So subscribe, and let's get into all of the news and notes from Media Day heading in to training camp. You are watching Dallas Mavericks today, and I am your host, Harrison Graham. Let's get into some Mavericks training camp news. Media Day is in the books, which kind of is the first signal of basketball being back. A lot of hype on Chris Stapp's Porzingis, so we'll start there. Uh, it sounds from all accounts that he is in great shape, and this was at least going to be a little bit expected, right? Because this was his first full off season. Uh, where he was fully healthy uh, after an NBA season. He's had surgeries in prior off seasons where he hadn't been able to work out, stay in shape. Uh, Luca says he's in good shape. Jason Kidd says he's in good shape. Kidd says that he plans on playing him mostly at power forward, wants him to be a basketball player, a.k.a. not just stand around uh, like we saw in the playoffs last year. And let's be honest, the Mavs really need KP to bounce back. There's just no way around that. Here's what KP had to say. He's, uh, he's pretty excited, saying, quote, it was an easy summer for me because I did a lot of hard wa work, but it came easy. With all the external noise from last season, it was easy to fuel motivation-wise. KP seems re-energized, he seems motivated, and that's what you need, right? Like, you still are holding out hope that Chris Stapps Porzingis can be that number two sidekick to Luka Doncic. Now, I think when he first came over via trade, he wanted to be a co-star with Luka. That obviously has not happened due to injuries, due to Luka ascending to superstardom. Whatever reasons, uh, that has not been the case. But that doesn't mean... If he's fully engaged and healthy, he can't be a damn good number two, and that's what he needs to be focusing on, staying healthy, uh, getting back to being a productive player on this team, uh, being a good shot blocker as well as a, a complete player on offense. That's what he needs to focus on. He seems re-energized. Jason Kidd seems to have energized him. That's a good thing. Also, Tim Hardaway Jr. had to say this. He said, be ready for a motivated KP this year. He's saying it, it's going to be scary for other teams. That's pretty exciting to think about because then that's less pressure on Tim Hardaway Jr. He can kind of slide back down to being that number three, number four type for this team. And Luka and KP can go to work. If we get back to that level we saw a couple of years ago when Luka and KP got it cooking before Porzingis got hurt, this team could do some damage. Even last year during the regular season, with all the injuries, all the distractions, everything, he still averaged 20-9. and nine. I mean, he averaged... 38% from three, 48% from the field. Like, if he's healthy and gives you similar numbers and carries that over to the playoffs, like if KP averaged 20 and 9 on those splits against the Clippers, they would have won that series in five or six games. Like, we don't need Chris Stapps Porzingis to be a 27 and 12 guy. Be 20 and 9. Be 21 and 10. Like, be, you know, a low 20s, high 9, 10 type of rebounds type of guy. Shot, block some shots and stay healthy. Like, can you give me 60 to 65 games? Be healthy come playoff time and be a true number two next to Luka. That's what this team needs. He seems motivated. He seems fired up. He's healthy, which is a great sign. So that is very, very good. A lot of hype around KP coming out of Mavs Media Day today. Obviously, we need it to translate onto game action here next month. Will Crestaps Porzingis have a career year? What do you think? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. We will make this the pinned comment on today's video. So go ahead and get your votes in down in the comments. Y for yes, or you can give me an N for no. Let's talk vaccin vaccination status now, because obviously uh, that's you know a very uh, very big talking point around uh, NBA circles right now. Uh, currently for the Mavs, coaching staff fully vaccinated. Uh, roughly 90% of players are vaxxed, according to Jason Kidd. He says the goal is uh, to get to 100% by opening night, which is you know just over uh, three weeks away or so. Uh, now, without getting into the opinions and the you know, pol politics of it, let's just point out the facts here. The NBA, number one, is not requiring player vaccinations. It is not a requirement for players. The NBA PA pushed back against that, uh, so that is not the case. However, certain local mandates, cities and states are requiring it, especially for indoor venues, which NBA arenas qualify for. 
Big talking points in New York and in California right now. Andrew Wiggins not vaccinated. If the Golden State Warriors had a home game tomorrow, he could not play in it. If uh, Kyrie Irving had a home game tomorrow, he could not play in it because he is not vaccinated according to reports. The point being is that's not a problem for Mavericks home games, but if they're playing on the West Coast, if they're playing in New York against the Knicks or Nets, it could be uh, a, a problem slash requirement. So I don't know who the one or two players are. If you're at 90%, seven, or 20 players in a training camp roster, one or two of the guys uh, is unvaxxed, it sounds like. I don't know who that is. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if that uh, finds out. Obviously, there's uh, there's HIPAA laws, so they aren't required to release that. But uh, I guess we'll find out if the Mavericks play a road game and one of their players is out uh, due to personal reasons. I would assume that you could put two and two together. But the Mavs in good situation. Not a problem in Texas here for home games. But I'm just spitting, you know, the facts of what uh, certain local mandates are. Luckily, uh, you know, this is not a uh, team on the West Coast right now who uh, has a uh, you know, serious guidelines. I, I mean, imagine Andrew Wiggins may not be able to play home games this year. That, that's where we sit uh, right now. So that's a big problem for the Warriors. Doesn't sound like it'll be an issue for the Dallas Mavericks, but Jason Kidd says the staff is fully vaxxed and that the players are about 90% vaxxed, meaning one or two players uh, is either not vaccinated or isn't fully vaccinated. Uh, we'll continue to find out if there's more uh, details and specifics on those numbers. Okay, today's sponsor, Bet US. Go to chatsports.com slash MFFL. Put down 100 bucks, get 125 for free. Bet US is a sportsbook partner. You can bet on the NFL, you can bet on the NBA, you can bet on MVP odds, uh, which Luka Doncic is the favorite if you want to go do that. Uh, if you're watching this uh, before kickoff tonight during the Dallas Cowboys game, go bet on the Cowboys. I like them uh, uh, as three and a half point favorites against the Philadelphia Eagles. Use the promo code MFFL, chatsports.com slash MFFL. All right, final story. Luka Doncic, is he going to become more vocal? This seems to be a point of emphasis from him. Entering his fourth NBA season, now that he's got uh, that, uh, you know, that super max contract, he got that Olympic experience this year where obviously he had to carry the team on his back. He said he self-recognized that, hey, I need to become more vocal for this team. I'm the leader. I'm the guy making $200 million. I'm the MVP favorite in the NBA right now. This is another step for Luka. It really is because he continues to improve in areas on the court every single year, and he has become a better le leader as he's ascended in the NBA. But now he needs to really be that, that more vocal guy that like, hey, you know, don't be afraid to grab someone and say, hey, we can't have that. Or, hey, good job. Do this. Do that. Like, that's what you need from your superstar. Some guys are quieter leaders, but at some point you need your best guys to talk. And Luca, obviously coming in from Europe was a little quiet at first, but he's gotten a little more rah-rah as he's gotten older. Obviously on the court, I continue to expect greatness. 28, eight and eight and a half last year. Uh, the three point shot improved 35%, 48% from the field. Uh, wouldn't be surprised at all if he flirted with the 30 point triple double this year, especially if the uh, free throw shooting improves. I think 73% a year ago. Uh, I fully expect him to be an MVP candidate, but it's good to see that he's recognizing, hey, I need to become more of a vocal leader because this team looks at me as this team's leader, and they should because he's the best player on the team. Will Luka win MVP this year? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. Get your votes in down in the comments and let us know. You look at the current odds right now, Luca's right there, plus 400, 4 to 1 odds to win it. Uh, you put down 10 bucks, you'd win 40. Uh, again, bet US if you want to go make some money. Steph Curry plus 500, Giannis plus 600, Joel Embiid plus 700, then a bunch of people, including LeBron James at plus 1200. So obviously, uh, the sports books, uh, including bet US, believe that Luka Doncic has a good chance of winning MVP this year. And uh, if the Mavs win a lot of games, uh, that'll be a good thing. And uh, a, a good way to help that happen is for him to trust his teammates and to be more vocal with them as well. Uh, that's all for today's show. Uh, more news and nuggets to come out of training camp, I am sure, as it progresses. That's why you need to subscribe, youtube.com slash MavsTV. Do not miss any of our coverage here on the channel. And remember, let's get to 15,000 tonight. I want to do more videos. Let's get there. So subscribe, and we'll see you soon.